what's going on with the company now, so it's kind of worrisome. As the hemp industry booms in Pennsylvania, Channel 11 found out one local facility is shutting down, at least temporarily. We told you workers at Patriot Shield Security and Jeanette weren't getting paid, but Channel 11's Aaron Clark learned that isn't the reason the plant is closed. People who work at the hemp drying facility across the street say it opened a couple of months ago and we've learned that there have been problems since the very beginning. Today we saw a couple of folks who work there stop by and try to get answers about their paycheck. We need our money. <laughs> like, you know, we have stuff to take care of, bills to pay. Kayla Lander hasn't gotten paid in weeks and is worried she might never see another paycheck from her employer, Patriot Shield. The Colorado-based company opened a hemp drying facility in Jeanette in September. But yesterday, the city of Jeanette issued a cease and desist order and shut the business down. There was a business that was operating there without the requisite occupancy permit. The Jeanette city solicitor said the municipality had no idea Patriot Patriot Shield opened up shop in this warehouse along Thomas Avenue until it was bombarded with complaints. Channel 11 told you earlier this month that neighbors were sick of the smell coming from the facility. The city followed up. We will give you a temporary occupancy permit um, to give you some time to yeah, address the odor concerns address some of the other structural issues. That temporary permit expired 30 days later and the problems hadn't been resolved. The city solicitor says the facility will remain closed until it is in compliance with all regulations. Meanwhile, Kayla and her boyfriend, who also worked at the factory, were told by a security guard to leave the property or cops would be called when they knocked on the door for answers. I think it's absolutely ignorant that you can treat an employee like that when we came in here, did our job. So until those answers come, these workers are out of work right before the holidays. We've reached out to Patriot Shield a couple of times and have not heard back. If we do, we will let you know what the company has to say. Reporting from Jeanette Aaron Clark, Channel 11 News.